Okay, we've been at the pool for an hour now, just soaking in the sunshine on our only sunny day. And now I'm about to go in and get a reflexology massage. Cannot wait. hotel this morning we woke up and walked right here we're gonna have a really amazing breakfast so we'd love to take you all along with us come on <laughs> Do you have enough? I also got some vegetables with hummus for breakfast. That's good. Couldn't tell you what it is, so. <laughs> Maybe this is called Chicha Roll. It's very similar to what I got at the other restaurant. No. It's breakfast, huh? Breakfast of that's what our that's what our guide said. Championess for, for breakfast and for that's a lot of fat for lunch. Championess. Okay, I know a lot of you food bloggers out there are gonna be disappointed, but man, it's a lot of fat for breakfast. I'm gonna cut it off a little bit. Oh, my heart just stopped. Yeah. My favorite thing about eating at places like these is that you can have fruit and vegetables, but you can have fruit and vegetables. This is the latter. best place to do trip planning because you know you don't want to be at an airport when you're planning a trip you want to be next to a pool but you're not stressed you're not eating fast food you're resting so this is where all the big wonderful plans come into place okay we've been at the pool for an hour now just soaking in the sunshine on our only sunny day and now I'm about to go in and get a reflexology massage. Cannot wait. So that was amazing. So that was amazing. So that was amazing. I had a reflexology massage from Freddie and he was like telling me what everything meant in my foot. It was really, really nice, very relaxing. And my head started, like my head and my neck just were tingling like the whole time. So I'm guessing it was holding a little tension, um, but I feel really refreshed now. And I just feel like it's so important to take these times to take care of ourselves. You only have one body. You gotta take good care of it. How is it? A fantastic massage. Awesome. Um, wonderful. Wonderful. What's his name? Freddy? Yeah, Freddy. Yeah, he's so nice. Reflexology. So he's like, hey, this is your really tense right here in your back, your upper back, huh? And he's like massaging and I could feel my upper back like loosen up, which he was just massaging my feet. So That's I'm awesome. a believer in reflexology stuff. You know, once you get someone with the low, like really strong fingers, like picking apart your feet, Oh my gosh, it feels incredible. It makes your head tingle and 
everything. And then, and then on top of that, look at this view. I've been just enjoying this wonderful area for a little bit. It's just so pretty. Okay. get some food yeah yeah about to go get some food with a view yeah sun's out okay let's see if they'll let us in with just the kn95 oh you got some people here making sure it is a camel camel fruit Good food, good massage, good weather. Mm. <clears throat> I'm trying to eat my salad, you know, and help out my insides. So that way I'm ready for Central tomorrow. Oh yeah, we gotta remember gotta to eat stretches. light. You gotta do yoga. Go for a run. You gotta do, you gotta do um, um, agua con gas, um, sparkling water to clear everything out. And then you're ready for 14 courses. And you got to fast tomorrow morning. Some fast. And then there's the veterans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can eat. I'll be fine. But you're going to be eating 21 courses because you'll eat half of mine. He we'll says, see. watch me. I got you the vegetarian one. Watch me, he says. One of the things I love about travel is that each day is a little bit unique. Today, the warm sunshine made today really unique, opened up a whole new world of possibilities for us, different views, different activities. So I just love that about travel. You never know what to expect. Okay, now to continue our health day, we are going to the sauna. First time we've gone to the sauna at our hotel here. Wow, my hair is crazy. What happened? Ooh, smoking. I love saunas. My family in Norway has a sauna in their house and that's when I first started to really fall in love with saunas. I had sauna like all the time at their house. It's so nice and relaxing. Going out for a drink because let's just be honest, we did enough healthy things today. Time to balance it we out. We did enough healthy things. You gotta balance life, you know? You can't just do one thing over and over again, like being healthy. You gotta really balance it out. <laughs> you gotta know what you're getting healthy from. And we discovered there's this thing called the San Marco Trap. Basically what it is, is it's the tourism sectors where, they, where they've got the location and they serve you junk. So you've got to get outside and find out where the good food is, and then you got it. So you don't fall in the San Marco trap. That's... Indiana Jones knows about that. Exactly. That's uh, our experience from being in Venice and St. Mark's Square. So that's one for your Urban Dictionary. St. Mark's Square trap. Yeah, it's in Venice. It's the square. Do you guys hear the music? The authentic Peruvian music? Yes, it's Dolly Parton from Dollyville. I come to Peru for like the flute man and the llama band, Dolly Parton. Salute, okay. baby. Salute. This is called the Machu Picchu in Jamaica. It'd be very similar, but it'd be called the Bob Marley. Um, the interesting thing about this one is it comes with, I think, the star fruit, the very sour, bitter star fruit that I had at the market the other day. And um, it also comes with Pisco. So, We'll see, um, but a lot of the same, um, a lot of the same flavorings. Flavor. Flavor. This is a biodegradable straw for all those that are asking. I did not harm any turtles. No turtles were harmed in this one. Tastes like Peru. Does it taste like um, fresh llama air? Tastes like llama air. It's it's obviously got pisco in there, so there's a, there's a bit of the sour bitter. 
Uh, it's a little, it's a little maybe um, minty on the top here. I'm trying to get the bottom. Ooh, there we go. Kind of got a little bit of the bottom there. It's getting better as we go. Just like Peru. Yep. He said not to mix it, so I'm trying not to. <laughs> and you got a caipirinha? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Yes, it's very nice. Very, very limey. Ooh, so this is caipirinha. This is a Brazil, like, mojito. The Brazilian rum. It tastes like... It's like a mojito, right? Kind, yeah, but it's like a lime... It tastes like pure lime juice. Like a limeade without the aid, without any sugar, it just alcohol. Which I don't mind, to be honest. Cheers. Salud. Go. Today's been an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining us on it. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because tomorrow we're going to Central and it's like the most epic restaurant ever. So you're gonna wanna see that, believe me. I'm gonna wanna see it, I can't wait. I'll see you there tomorrow.